Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships Daily Chores and today we're going to be exploring what we unlocked at level 12. Right, so let's start with the news. Let's see what kind of new news we have. Uh, like I said, always read those news, well, read them, it's useful. But more importantly is you can have some rewards there. No rewards this time. We're gonna go to do our daily chores like, uh, like the series is called. We're gonna go to armory. Bear in mind that you can pick up some nice stuff in armory. For example, here, 50,000 credits. That would be in the Soviet today. You're gonna watch this, well, hopefully if you're watching it today, that would be the fifth of October uh, you still have these Soviet tokens so they're not gonna be available forever so when we started this it didn't it wasn't uh, this is gonna be a little bit on the loud side so let's get this we're gonna get tier 10 submarine Balao and you there we go two new submarines we're gonna get they're only for rental periods so fear not you're not gonna get a lot of uh, a lot out of them but uh, we're gonna actually play probably tomorrow, maybe today, but probably tomorrow we're gonna play a game with submarines. But wh what I wanted to talk to about today is uh, some of the other features of the game. So we currently unlock the access to the armory. Armory is the uh, most important place where you're gonna spend the most time. So let's go and cover what the armory is. Shows you everything that you have. Now be be mindful that there's a lot of a lot of currencies in the game. For example, these doubloons are the closest thing to real life money you're gonna have to have. Uh, not have to have but you have so uh, this is what you buy when you buy stuff in this game you can buy ships you can buy premium days but more or less the balloons is the real life equivalent of money go away so uh, this is all the currencies that you have at the moment you have clan tokens rank tokens research points uh, we're gonna cover all of those we have credits this is the let's call it silver in game or just credits we have the balloons here like we said and then cold this this is this is one of this is this is the most important one that you're gonna have that you're gonna need the most of. Why the hell go away? Yeah, sure. Oh, coupons! Yay! Now go away. Um, right, and then we have clan tokens. You can earn that for game victories in clan battles while playing in a typhoon league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we never we, we're only in the hurricane league. Uh, rank tokens, it's when you achieve rank 1 in the ranked battles. This is really, really hard. I have... Well, yeah, I think it's only gold. Rank 1 in rank battles. Really? I actually should have a few of those. Not here in my other account. And then we have community tokens. That's something that you can get on a daily basis, weekly basis from community stuff. Free XP. Again, it's really important for a couple of ships that you can get. Aegir being one of the most important for me. And also, unfortunately, has been removed. But uh, Aegir, anyway... Uh, we're gonna talk about that later as well and those are more or less soviet tokens specific tokens festive tokens they're all temporary depending soviet tokens are because of the, you have new aircraft carriers pacific because of the i don't know pacific stuff festive we had some festivities and uh, all good right so what else do we have we have ships this is the the most interesting part of part of the of the armory so ships you have here usually the most important ones are tier 10 not my favorites but everybody i'm gonna get my ass chewed off because of this stop telling me what to do uh, talking to my head no talking to the game saying oh events go away uh, so right, this is the tier 10 ships. Uh, most of the people will tell you that these are the most important ones that you can buy for coal. I'm gonna tell you now. I like tier 9 ships because they earn more credits. Uh, these ships here, the two that I think are the most of most competitive. Competitive. That means that they are used for competitions. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing this right. Would be Emilman and Moskva. Emilman. Um, Maximal man is often carriers are banned from comp uh, from clan wars and some competitions. So heads up, maybe carriers won't be the most useful. Moskva is really really good because it has a radar. It's also a radar cruiser. I think it's a light cruiser. Don't quote me on this, but uh, Moskva is one of those uh, Russian cruisers like, like Petropavlovsk, Stalingrad, Moskva uh, that have both radars and uh, well, in this case they have sonar or anti-air, whatever needs to be here. 
Right, uh, this is really, really useful ship. So I would say if you have to go, if you want for tier 10 ships, if you want to go for them, probably Moscow would be your best choice. Of course, none of these ships are bad. Yoshino, Marceau, Salem. Salem is one of those, I think, also radar cruisers. Yeah, you can have radar or sonar on them. And then you have Marceau. I heard really good things about, uh, about Marceau, but uh, I haven't played it myself. Yoshino is, uh, is that a sister ship of Yamato or something like that? I could be wrong about this, don't quote me, don't quote me. Do your own research. Uh, from my point of view, the most important ships are tier 9, because I love playing with tier 9. Why the hell? Oh, right. Oh, okay, there we go, finally. So, the most important tier 9 ship for me is Pomeran. <laughs> I love playing with Pomeran, um, because it earns more money, uh, and usually you get into tier 9 or tier 10 battles, which uh, tier 9 means that you're dominant ship in the, in, the, in the battle, and tier 10 means that you're not. You can actually play a little bit more loose, don't, but uh, you, can, you can relax a little bit more, because other people can do more damage than you if you're in tier 10 while Pomeran uh, is a brawler ship you should try not too much because i do it too much sometimes but uh, try to get into range of secondaries i suggest specking it for secondaries uh, we're gonna cover this when we play pomer and i'm gonna show you the setup of the pomer and uh, this is how you should uh, set it up well, suggestion, but Pomeran is definitely my favorite of these ships in cold section. Uh, potentially after Pomeran, there's always Nostrashimi, which is extremely expensive, and then you have Z44, which I have the uh, Gunther Lutin Lutins, and I'm kind of leaning towards German ships now, even though they are not competitive for any battles, they are just for your own random pleasure or whatever. Then the balloons is, of course, money. You have all most of the ships, if not all of the ships, uh, you can purchase it in doubloons and uh, you have the prices over here and uh, it's 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 pricey it's, it's pricey you can pay them for money you can pay them for the balloons uh, there's always some sales you have I think not more than 30% except if you have some kind of special offer that you can buy these ships for 50% but more or less they are quite ex expensive here's the for example Arc Royale these are this is quite quite competitive ship so for example if we want to buy it we have these coupons now heads up these coupons for the balloons fine use it whenever you want upgrades you get them every Every few months so fear not that's fine this is the most important coupon you're gonna have this one for steel and coal uh, that includes ship ships we're gonna talk about that more or less it's really good for you to utilize all of your coupons uh, potentially don't buy for coal next to nothing I, I wouldn't buy is this permanent camouflages if there are permanent camouflages and yes I don't think you have any permanent camouflages for coal so uh, this is just a lot of camouflages and they cost a lot of a lot of coal so my suggestion is just avoid them uh, other coupons use as much as you can signals are important for competitions you have these upgrades that gives you a little bit more edge upgrades being longer radar longer sonar longer anti-aircraft uh, defensive fire, longer repair party, uh, last 40, 40 seconds longer, this is amazing. Uh, spotting aircraft, this is... Uh, da -da -da. Right, 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 this is how long your aircraft, spotting aircraft is in the air. Then you have smoke generator, gives you a little bit more uh, action time and boost engine, that's for your destroyers. Like you have these things that are really, really useful. If you can afford yourself this, but only put this on the ships that you're 100% sure that you want to play and you want to keep in there because demounting those cause the balloons. The balloons are money, so, you know, don't do that. Uh, only be sure that you want to spec them. For example, I don't have a single one. I think I have radar for the U yang but i'm not really sure anyway so this would be your uh, uh coal your your coupons next thing would be the steel ships steel ships are quite important there's only seven on them at the moment probably there's going to be more i know that uh, we had nostrashimi for steel before i was told i haven't noticed that before but people told me, by the way, I bought Stalingrad, you're probably going to see me playing today with Stalingrad, not with this account, probably it's going to be a second video, but uh, I only got my first steel ship now, after years and years of playing, so this steel, don't be afraid to wait for it, and it's going to take a while for you to buy it, so heads up, 
steel the most important thing in the game and when you start collecting a little bit more steel more than on daily daily basis of how much you get uh, be careful start saving your coupons i believe the first coupon you're gonna get you have now will not be used at all because i don't think you're gonna get a lot of resource actually i'm lying you have we have 17.4 thousand um coal and you should use this discount for coal or steel uh, before 15th of december because on 15th of december you're gonna get a new one this is not gonna be additional one you're gonna have only one of those so use it before 15th of december and i suggest because steel ships will probably be unattainable for you use it on coal ships which ones which ones whichever you feel um that is something that you would like to have if you have questions about my suggestions on these ships it's 99 i'm pretty sure no, not nine, it's 100 percent that you're gonna have it in coal so let's say that you want to see tier 6 ship bought by coal i have eagle and i actually purchased it and it cost sweet penny how much coal you can get by doing daily missions in my personal experience uh up and from now until december i believe i personally believe you can uh, um collect around 3000 coal a day now bear in mind this is not per day this is a day uh, when you're gonna get also coal containers all the coal you go you get from submarines all the coal you're gonna get on the side because of some crates some events brawls brawls are also important one that i usually do so you're gonna have a lot of opportunity to get coal and average all that out through the next two and a half months i believe you will be able to collect uh 3, coal a day so that would be how much two months and 10 days that would be 70 days 70 times 3 200,000 coal I would say I would comfortably be able to say if you play this game every day and collect your basic coal on your coal resources that you're gonna be able to get even the biggest ships here uh, that that they cost coal so for example maximal one uh, is 100 and uh, 200,000 coal so i believe that all of these ships will be obtainable for you potentially even neostrashimi so if we did uh, every day our chores which i'm not going to do because i don't live forever and i really need to uh, have sleep and stuff but i believe if we dedicated this account for every day doubling this because i have another account as well we would get two hundred and ten thousand coal by the 15th of december i believe so uh, i have a couple of colleagues watching this that just started playing the playing games and i'm gonna motivate them to do so just to have this as an experiment and i all gala i'm looking at you i'm hoping that you're gonna collect all the money that you want to even be able to buy neostrashimi but i don't suggest you buy neostrashimi because there are better ships or at least more fun ships that you can buy like i said my suggestion would be maximal man or potentially potentially as i know a lot of you are gonna curse me for this i would say even pomeran because if you want to play battleships something with a little bit more steel i would i believe that i would still go for pomeran here one of the reasons is because you're gonna have free xp that you're gonna collect in the meantime so you're gonna have free xp which is gonna get you a gear and if you buy pomeran and a gear you can slowly start collecting your money for the next segment and that will be captains commanders uh you have every major nation here uh Jerzy Schwierski, andrew cunningham philip uh actually you know what uh, gunter lutians and let's stop it here because i want to have a separate video about this it's going to be already too long i want to play a match on the video today gunter lutians is the one that i have and it perfectly fits on both Aegir and pomeran and even your um maximal months in the future i would still suggest that people to go to to gunter lutians and pomeran rather than uh, maybe moskva or something else because you will have both free xp uh Aegir and you would have the pomeran with the same ship and then if you mount it with gunter lutians you would start building your unique commander to the highest level that you can and this is going to be a festive day when you do, he reaches 21st level because all the other experience is going to be transferred to commander elite commander experience and this is going to be really good for the rest of your commanders all of them even when one reaches 21 level it's going to be really cool for for the rest of them anyway that's something else we're going to talk about commanders so i'm going to skip it for now uh containers this is 
is don't don't spend a lot of time there. We're gonna check this. There are some containers that you need to get. We're gonna talk about this later uh, because of the some things you can get for free. You can get it for free anytime, but uh, we're gonna talk about it later. But like for example, uh, hunt for Bismarck was it? I, I need to check which containers actually activate. And I, this one, this one is one of them in service of motherland. They activate. Purchasing this uh, activates the Raktobarska Revolucija containers in the service of the Motherland collection. Um, so, but I need to confirm this. I don't want to lie to you. Now, the important part again, again with um, with new things that we unlocked would be campaigns. Campaigns are something that you can do to get to win the the um, the epic rewards in the end. I would suggest to go with this so you can see what gives what the final rewards are. You saw there in commanders we are missing the we are missing the uh, Japanese commander. You can see here if you finish these honorable service you're gonna get Shinonome tier six destroyer which is a wonderful ship and uh, tier eleven commander. If you finish these these are really hard. You're gonna get Japanese commander Yamamoto Isoku, Isoroku. Uh, Isoroku, yes, Yamamoto Isoroku. Um, this is the hardest ones, I believe, out of these missions. So keep this one for the end because you need tier 9 and 10 ships to finish this. Um, right, technically not, but we're gonna talk about it. Hit hard, hit fast, hit often. Uh, this is not bad. William F. Hazley, uh, Halsey. Halsey Jr. Uh, is a commander. It's a really, really good uh, reward. I think you need like five, six, and seven tier ships. You can, of course, go for nine and ten, um, eight, nine, and ten. And then if you have five eco epochs of navy, you get some containers here. They're quite also quite good. But uh, we're gonna start with the easiest one. If you go to campaigns again, the first one, uh, science of victory. We're gonna go one by one. As you can see, you're gonna need tier ships of four till until 10 so you go into your sections so you, the the tasks with the lowest stars are the easiest one usually the easiest one and you can see here for example we need to play this with uh, okay we have tier ships tier 3 to 10 that's perfect so let's go with easy ones we're gonna go for one mission over here accept the task and then we're gonna go for a second mission here accept the task and let's say a little bit more difficult. Hit the enemy with uh, ship with torpedo six times. That's uh, gonna be a challenging one. Uh, it's not in one match, but on the low tier, it's it's iffy. It's iffy if we can do this or not. So we have uh, we have three selected tasks. Now, if you don't have a premium account, you can only select two, which is not a big deal. So this is fine for us. So let's go and select these three. So we have this set. When we win any of these rewards, it's gonna be here turned yellow. That means you have notification from there that you won some rewards. Okay, uh, anything else we need to cover from here? I don't think so. I think I wanna go and start playing and we're gonna go for a match now. 17 and a half minutes of me yabbering about Next to nothing, not really, but hopefully it's going to be um, useful for you guys. So let's see what we have here. Tier 3 ships. Uh, I did start in the last episode Eritrea and Nino Bixio. I'm just going to check if we have any equipment here. No, we still didn't play. I'm going to play off screen. This is the um, uh, Italian cruiser line. Uh, we will play this as well. But uh, what I want to play with now, let's see some of these ships that we have here. Oh, we unlock the ship enhancements. That means we can buy modules. Usually, almost always, you're gonna have. Don't never use magazine mod modification. Forget about it. You have flags that eliminate total uh, elimination of the magazine. So usually, it's gonna be uh, main uh, armaments. But don't upgrade your ships before tier four, five, six. It's too early. So don't waste your money on this. Even though it's not really that um, expensive, I still wouldn't use it um, this early in the game. So my suggestion is just to wait. So uh, we have we need 300 points to with Kohlberg uh, to go to the queue. We we actually already have. Oh yeah, we have. Uh, sorry, we have uh, Karlsruhe here. We're gonna play with Karlsruhe again. This is tier four. Uh, this is tier 4 cruiser, as you can see here in tech tree line. Um, I believe, we're going to talk about this, uh, I believe, let's start a battle. 
is gonna say you don't have captain but tier 4 i don't really want captain because i'm gonna have to retrain him for a tier 5 and uh, that's gonna be pain in the rear end because it's gonna cost a lot of uh, commander experience i'm gonna get captain on tier 5. anyway cruisers uh, this is what i said i'm gonna talk about in this uh, in this video um, uh, how to play with cruisers first designation of the ships you have uh, destroyers, cruisers, battleships, carriers. You have submarines as well. Did I miss something? Probably not. You have other classifications, but we're going to cover these details first. Destroyers can be separated in gunboats and torpedo boats, and then torpedo boats have like you have fast torpedo boats. Anyway, then you have gunships like um, the Haragumo, who are not so agile but have amazing firepower, and then you have uh, extremely agile Russian destroyers, but they have a little bit worse firepower. They have better guns, but they fire a little bit less often. But anyway, destroyers, cruisers, battleships ships and aircraft carriers. Uh, cruisers are the middle. They're worst of both wor worlds. They don't have armor that battleships have and they don't have the speed and concealment of the small ships. So they're crap. And actually, they are actually they are the the only the the, the main battleships of today. The main ships of today, like. Um, most of the ships today are there, there's no more battle crew there are no there's no more battleships in the world the, the ones with the guns everything is like a rocket cruiser and stuff like that but doesn't matter in this game you have two designations two you can separate cruisers into Gefechtstation ich kann deutsch sprechen uh, can I uh, Deutsch uh, Nine. I'm not gonna talk the, the in German for less than now. I, I give up on that. Manuel, no way. Uh, right. So uh, what I wanted to say too is the designations of cruisers. One of them would be uh, light cruiser and heavy cruiser. Heavy cruiser is something closer to battleship, so it's a little bit on a slow side. It's well armored. You would probably want to play it nose in, but that's gonna happen later down the line. There's nothing like a heavy cruiser. There's no such a thing as a heavy cruiser in under tier i don't know would say even eight so you play these cruisers i would play my suggestion is for you to play these cruisers as light cruisers that means stay away be as unattractive target as possible um, angle away if you need to if you see somebody aiming at you or firing at you we're going to discuss these captain skills that show you that somebody is aiming at you or shooting at you these are important skills that you're going to need for for um, light cruiser you're going to see when somebody is firing from you do how you can try to angle away because you know angle away from the enemy you can't really know which ship is shooting at you but you can you can get notification that somebody is shooting at you. So, in all of your cruisers, never go middle. Never go through the middle. Just don't go there. Just stay alive as, po as much as possible. Don't go at the edge of the map and hide there until the end of the match. No, that's not the point. Keep the enemies at the uh, edge of your uh, gun range. Be careful. When you're starting a match, there are destroyers that are trying to take the caps that will see you. If you get destroyer within your uh, blue circle and island is not hiding you from a destroyer, you will be spotted. So they might start shooting at you pretty early on if you're spotted. If you're spotted, you're going to have yellow notification here in the middle of the, middle of the screen that you're spotted. At the moment, we see a couple of destroyers. This one is getting into our range. We can, we can start shooting at him, but then we reveal our position. And if there's any other ship, when we reveal our position, when they see where we are, <laughs> the, uh, other ships will know where we are as well. So we have Izokaze here getting into our range. He's in our range, but he's a fast ship compared to us. And we might not hit it. Okay, that was way too much lead time. He's not sailing so fast as I expected. So we're gonna try to hit this Izokaze luckily while it's being spotted by our destroyer. Use that chance to shoot at this little freaker. So we're gonna try to shoot this Izokaze. If we get any shots on him, that would be good because usually they are fast and small and agile. It's really hard to hit them. So fear not if you miss. Slowly you're gonna get into range of bigger ships and then we're gonna have bigger targets to shoot at. Initially, like I said, uh, we are still not spotted whatsoever, so we are safe. Nobody's gonna shoot you blindly for no reason. 
or or as the game and developers will like to say that to you but <laughs> you never know what can happen but no if you're not spotted nobody is gonna shoot at you so try to get some damage on this is okaza try to destroy their destroyers because you <laughs> destroy destroyers because here we go we got some shots on him because they will be blind then enemy will be blind and they will, won't have a spotter so your destroyers will have an edge over them so if you we destroy this izokaze here uh, we will be in advantage on this side this would be really really good for us unfortunately he smoked up we cannot see him he's torpedoing us but he can't see us either so he's torpedoing us blindly i want to try to get some shots in this dugai throwing throwing I don't know how to pronounce that ship's names. Uh, Shenyang. Shenyang is a Pan-Asian destroyer, and I straight away know that he doesn't have proper torpedoes. Will we really get the torpedo? No. Um, he doesn't have proper torpedoes. He, he has only deep water torpedoes. He cannot hit this destroyer with torpedoes. This is why he's not shooting back. So we are in range of two destroyers and a cruiser. I'm going to try always try to focus on destroyers if at all possible because if you blind them, if you blind them uh, by destroying their destroyers, you will have an advantage. The cruiser is going to be sitting duck then. But unfortunately our bot here, which was literal bot. So literal bot uh, was shooting as a, an, at a wrong ship and this little Izokaze will be torpedoing us, so I'm gonna try to keep the island between us. By the way, we have a little bit of an advantage over this Izokaze, what he doesn't know, we have a sonar. So, for example, I will turn on the sonar. And I see now this little Izokaze who's trying to hide from us. He knows that we are sonaring him. But I will still try to get some shots on him. There we go. So we are the only ship in a cap right now. But we are surrounded by three other ships. This doesn't look good for us. But if we make it, we're going to be heroes. I'm going to put the fire out. Because it's draining our HP pool. There we go. Let's try to destroy these destroyers. We need to start lowering the amount of guns we have around us. So this is totally opposite of what I told you to stay away. But this situation kind of warranted this for us to move in. Okay. And this looks like we might be able to destroy at least Clemson. Okay. We have two more to go. We have Izokaze. We still have 60 seconds, 55 seconds of sonar left. I'm going to switch guns to the other side. This is Okaze might torpedo us. Oh, we have a cruiser coming at us. Okay, I'm going to try to use my torpedoes here. Uh, we have another set. I'm going to fire both sets. I'm going to try to gun down this little gunship here. Oh, he's running away. I still would like to get rid of him because he has worse torpedoes than this cruiser. And also, I'm going to get this cruiser on my opposite side. Repair the fire. Oh, he didn't change. This is why you always change direction. He got full, full torpedo spread of mine. So he got all the torpedoes. We are finishing this cap. And now we got the cap and destroyed two ships. 35,000 damage, which is not bad. It can be better, but it's not bad. We are still running Hydro and it's gone. This Izokaze is going to disappear now. Oh, we're going to try to... Oh, he's going towards us. Perfect. That's uh, Perfect. This is really good. Hopefully he didn't fire his torpedoes. I'm going to change direction just in case. And no torpedoes. We'll see. A few more seconds. And I'm going to close in. <clears throat> I'm going to close in to the middle, uh, towards the middle of the map. And uh, we are controlling this side of the map. Uh, we have this cap permanently capped. The other cap, the middle one, is still being contested by the enemy ships. They're out of our range. Uh, hopefully, we, we have decent health uh, left so we can engage other ships. Wyoming and Miyogi are battleships. Now, these are the hard nuts, nuts to crack. So this is going to be hard to um, cause any damage on them. You can see that their head, health pool is also big, 42,800. And they are all level 4 destroyers. We have, oh, sorry, battleships. We have three of them left. Oh, freaking sake. We, we lost two battleships on our side, and they have um, three battleships left versus one of ours. Uh, what is this? This is something sailing towards us. 
Dane. That's a crappy ship, but let's see if we can get some shots. Oh, fun. We lost Gangwood as well. So, currently we are the top ship. There's no way in hell we can uh, we can uh, overpower them. Currently we are we have a, uh, two caps versus one of theirs. So, we should be able to we should be able to uh, cap them into oblivion. <laughs> Probably not, but oh, he's even changing direction. Okay. Uh, let's see who screwed this one up. Uh, all bots. Other side, uh, they have cars right on the other side, uh, and again, all bots on their side as well. So bots lost the game. Both of us on this side and the other, we are still alive. Cars right there. Uh, this is the most important one. He is the real player. Dane here, he's gonna be gone soon. I'm pretty sure before we even see him. We need to get rid of him first. Oh, fun. We lost another ship. I don't see the, us winning this. Uh, we in one cruiser. I have to do amazing, amazing stuff here in order to 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 win this battle, and I'm not that good. Miyogi is over there already gaining at us, so this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put a couple of torpedoes to this wake towards this wakeful, but I don't see this ending up well at all. Oh, luckily I turned on the sonar because this cruiser before it was sunk. Oh, we're gonna get a torpedo hit. Yeah. Flooding and we are down to like 40% of our 40% of our HP. So this guy is shooting torpedoes at us as well. So that's gonna be fun as well. Uh, we are running sonar still. We're gonna see torpedoes coming in, but avoiding it is a to totally different animal. So let's try to take them one by one. I totally forgot that these cruisers have torpedoes as well. So we took a well, we took our torpedo hit, but we are still fighting back. And unfortunately, he's still alive. It would be really nice if some of that, those battleships there took a little bit more damage, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem that he's going to be the case. This wakeful... Can we get a kill? No. Oh, we got a kill. Oh, Kraken, we got five kills? Okay, at least something. Uh, we're five versus... Sorry, we're three versus four. Uh, well, that changed rapidly. Uh, but unfortunately for me, there are three battleships versus me, and that's potentially impossible mission. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's impossible mission. What potentially? There's no potentially here. I'm gonna try to get this culture destroyed, if at all possible. I will send him some torpedoes here. Hopefully my destroyer is going to avoid them. And I'm going to try using AP shells. Because I'm hoping that he's going to show me his broadside. So we can get score some citadel hits on the side. Or maybe from above. Doesn't really matter. It would be nice damage anyway. So let's try to get rid of this guy first. Because he seems like to be, to be low hanging fruit. I'm showing our enemy ships my full broadside. Currently doesn't seem like any of them are aiming at me, so... I hear buzzing of the shells, so... That's probably... Assumption on my side. Look at this guy. No, no, this is not working out for me. I'm, I can't find his citadel. He's the same uh, ship type as, as we are. But unfortunately, we are not finding his citadel. We have a better aim, better aim on his side now, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find it. It's all over penetrations. We need a lower hits. You can see now. We need a waterline hits or below the waterline hits. So we need to, uh, our shells need to hit the water first before hitting his ship because this will um, activate the shell before it hits the ship's ship. Uh, okay. Uh, that's one down. Oh, we have that one is kind of stuck on the island, but I don't think that's gonna change anything because uh, Let's put torpedoes behind this guy Okay, uh, oh, let's try to find citadel on the battleships here uh, Unfortunately, no Please don't go back. Please don't go back uh, 
Okay, this is this battle is a little bit longer than I expected, but unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to resolve this easily. So what I can do now, I can try to YOLO this Miyogi. That means I'm going to get close to him. Oh, crap. Somebody seeing me. Oh, this guy is unblocked now. <clears throat> I'm the only ship they can see now, so every, every single ship uh, on the map, enemy ship, will aim at me. Luckily, oh, here we go, Miyogi. Come on, wakeful Sh Shenyang, Shenyang, come on, do the voodoo that you do do so well. He should be able to torpedo that guy. If he torpedoes, he torpedoed Miyogi. We actually, <laughs> we're actually winning this match at the moment. I can't believe this. Okay, this is gonna be interesting match in the end. Uh, we'll see how it's gonna end. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Um, Wyoming, I have no idea where Wyoming is. I have, oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, he's gaining directly towards us. I don't think we're going to get uh, his citadel. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try to see if AP shells will do any damage to Wyoming. Ricochets, you can see on the right-hand side what kind of damage we're dealing. It doesn't seem to be significant. No, nothing. No damage whatsoever we're dealing, so... We can't hurt this Wyoming with AP shells. We're gonna have to switch. Ah, oh, frigate. Uh, frigate. Uh, we have we have five minutes to go. Uh, if I go through the middle, both battleships will have me at the gunpoint. My suggestion is, I have none. I was thinking of separating Wyoming from uh, Corbett. Kur but I don't think that's going to be possible. I'm going to circle around, get some damage uh, on this Wyoming. Hopefully fire damage as I'm kiting around this. There we go. I reset his cap, but no damage whatsoever. I'm not doing any damage to this Wyoming. So this is this is how the things are at the moment. Zero, zero damage. I can't do anything to him. I have torpedoes, but I'm um, pretty far away. Uh, torpedo range is only six kilometers, I believe, on these guns. Oh, he's gaining at us. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, let's try to send some torpedoes his way. And kite away. Kite away. Don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. Let's try to reset him now. No cap. No espuero. I don't even know if that's a word. There we go. We set him on fire. At least something. He's probably going to repair the fire. Oh, no. Well, maybe he doesn't have any more repairs. This is going to be interesting. He's not repaired. No, don't shoot me that crap at me. You. Okay. Ooh, confederate. Okay. Torpedoes are probably going to miss because I was hoping this is going to go towards me. We have two fires on him. That's really, really good. There we go. Okay. So we have another kill. And we are still... I can't believe we're winning this match. Uh, there's no way of... Like, I can YOLO this guy. I can just start resetting this guy. And we're going to win this match. So, I don't have to... The only way I can lose this match now is if he caps... Is if he caps this flag. And we... Or, or he kills me. Well, even if he caps the flag, we probably... He's not probably going to get enough points to win. Because winner is who has more points when these three minutes are up. So, uh, what I'm going to do now... I'm going to try to get behind these islands where I was before. He's probably going to see me now. That's not good. He has full health. I'm betting that he didn't use a single co repair party consumable on his part. He doesn't know where I am, but he's aiming at the right direction for a bot. Come on, can you can you assume that I'm somewhere behind you or something? Can you can you try doing that? Uh, okay, he's gonna see me now because I can't kite more away. My 10, 10.6 kilometers. There we go. Okay, and fire. And we know I, uh, approximately where he is. Let's try to get one more salvo around there. And uh, there we go. We reset him. That's important part. So he has been reset. I will try to keep him out of my distance of view range. And I'm going to keep resetting him for next 2 minutes 20 seconds. He, If he hits me well on the, with a volley on the side, I'm done for. That's it. That's a game over. Uh, he can destroy me in one salvo. Uh, my goal will be to keep him at distance. Uh, he sees me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't. Please. Oh, freaking hell. 
Oh, come on, he knew I'm gonna be there. Look at his match. Oh, he missed. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Burn the... Okay, he put the fire out. Now, this is the important... This is now the... the I need to set him on fire now, because his repair party is... Uh, consumable is being reloaded. So this is really, really bad for him. Come on, come on, get more hits, get more hits there. Come on, set on fire, set on fire. Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna be full open towards him. Okay, we reset him. Oh, there we go, fire. So you're gonna see here my damage count going up. That's perfect. Okay, um, how much cap did he do? Uh, a bit, quarter, quarter. So we have like 45 seconds until he caps the rest of it. So if we reset him now... Uh, not now, in 20-30 seconds, uh, he's not gonna be able to cap, he doesn't matter if he caps the flag, he doesn't get any points for that. Let's just try to not destroy him, because that's impossible. Yeah, I should have tried to survive, damn it. You know what? Let's disappear and let's get out of here, I don't want to be here. He has been reset if we survive for 45 seconds. That now calculating this, this was a really, really stupid uh, thing on my part. Because uh, if I just went away, we would win this match. But I didn't. And uh, now he's going to have at least another one shot at me. And this is going to be horrible. <laughs> Come on. No, no. Go away. Kite away. Kite away. Kite away. Uh, turn away. Turn away. Okay, missed. <laughs> <laughs> you sucker! You suck! You bot! It's not just a bot. I'm kidding. It's, it's, it's fake celebration, but we win this one. Guys, we win this one. 770 points and 8 seconds to go. Let's get a couple of shots on this. Oh, crap. Four. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't expect he has... God, it was... It was over. Yeah, I mean, like, we won. We won. But, but, those shells could have detonated me. The shells could have done a lot of damage. Now, this is one of the best games I ever had. <laughs> They're pretty good. They're pretty good. We have the, let's see, personal score. We have uh, team score 1,800 base experience. This is not bad. This is good. And plus, of course, uh, other modifiers applied. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. How many ships did we destroy altogether? Uh, I have no idea. Six. Okay, maybe that's even the most. Maybe I never did that on my main account count and credits and xp you can see what we did and how much will it usually be without premium account so this is the difference this is basically the only difference between premium account and non-premium account. Kind of free game and something you're gonna pay for this period i think it's period more or less you have three missions instead of two when you're doing your missions and stuff like that it doesn't matter but it's not really as far as i understand it it's not pay to win it never kind of was you have now these ships that are competitive but the basic game it's the same for everybody you're just going to be slower with your development without premium account and i don't mind that i like sailing ships and shooting at other ships and that's it okay let's see this Right, so this is it. Uh, we resolved the campaign, so we're gonna get some rewards. We have here credits and wow, credits. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> not really, it's not a lot, but uh, anyway, it's, it's better than nothing. We already resolving this mission. Let's see the future ones 10,000 HP of damage to enemy ships with your ship torpedoes. That's like one or two torpedoes in general. Uh, that, that would be a good combination with other you know torpedo hits and stuff so let, let's go for this one and do we have any torpedo survive win and survive one battle it's it's that easy i mean like yeah sure let's go with this one this is gonna probably gonna be a next battle but anyway so this is it uh we get containers uh like i said try 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 collect container and let's try to get these resources i have a lot of containers i haven't opened them in the last uh last game we're gonna open all of them right now i think you guys are gonna be happy about this so let's see let me show you what you get if you open all containers nothing you're just gonna get everything that you got in those containers just all at once two days of premium that will be probably two times one day uh some coal this is all the resource we got we have some patches flags camouflages and that kind of stuff really really good anyway uh right 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 
uh, guys, that's it. I'm going to leave it here. Continue grinding your ships. Continue playing. Uh, enjoying yourself. Hopefully you are. Uh, just try do your best and, you know, try to survive. Kite away. Uh, stay away from enemy ships. Don't engage directly unless you see that you have chance of winning them. You know, especially in a cruiser. Don't go against battleships directly. Especially multiple of them. I don't think this was a good example of how to play. But... Um, I think it was more luck than anything else for us to win this game. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Ring it. Comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support the channel, we have description of the video. Guys, happy Tuesday and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.